so i want to talk about how to make a panel dress i made a video about it but um i put pictures about it but video will make more sense the first thing you need to know is uh what's the radius you cut a flay to how to get a panel dress so the first thing is your flay which is your waist divided by 6.28 for your full circle flay so now the number of panel you want you're going to add it to your waist so normally my waist is 36 if i want eight pieces panel i'm going to add eight to that 36 if i divide by 6.28 before you now get your flay so i'm assuming that whatever i got but this is a miniature pattern so i'm just going to use 0.75 as my um flay so like i said just um add the number of pieces if you want 12 panel add 12 to your waist and also don't forget to add your sewing allowance before you divide by 6.28 so you get your upper flay after that one you also now do the length of your flay the length of the flay depending on where you're adding it so i'm going to say this is a 3.25 as my length as per this is just the miniature pattern so 3.25 all the way so i linked up and i cut out so you get your flare but don't forget that we've added um, the panel allowance and then you cut out full flare half flare will not be fine for your panel so you full flare so once you have this and then you cut uh, the upper part too you know that uh this gives us move the video like not so clear. this gives us a full flare now but obviously this is not what i want i want a panel now depending on the number of panel i want like i said i'm going to do an eight pieces panel so you're just going to fold your your stuff into it don't worry and then you split it so i'm just going to split it into eight into eight so how many pieces do I have? One, two, three, four. This is four. Then I split again. So into it because and I've added the eight inches allowance. So you have each panel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once you have it this way, at the end of the day, by the time you finish, you have to join it together back. Now, how do you join back together? You can put a stay inside it before you line it you can put a crino line crino line at the edge you can also use sewable boning you can put your boning in the middle and at the edge so that by the time you sew it that's what will give it the poppy effect and then each of your stuff will stand um, this way so each of them will stand this way that's how you get your panel so by the time you finish everything will come poppy like that all around or if you also want if you notice that the edges are always curved you can put everything together and reduce the edges don't forget that you're also going to have to cut some um, lining to it if you want you can cut stay a full stay to make everything um poppy you can also use a stiff if you put a stiff inside like the add stiff or the art stay it will everything we are saying stay stiff is to get a standing effect so now for this one you can just um reduce the edge if normal fabric by let's say two three or four inches depending on how curvy you want it to be so at the edge reduce by two three or four inches and then just um bend like that to meet the curve so by the time you do that you have everything popping out so at the end of the day you're having each of them in the panel then you now sew back so by the time you sew back everything will be standing in as a panel so i think and that's i just wanted to do a video so you can also join the fashion school in Ibato, nigeria or join our online class so that we can take you through what you need to do our classes are on on the basic intermediate and advanced class so at the end of the day you can see that we have a panel dress this is dependent on where you're adding it to that will be what you divide by 6.2 and then this is the length of whatever you're adding it to so that's a wrap for your panel thank you